I'm Chewie Martinez, movie fanatic, and this is Eric Allman, combat medic, EMT, and DMT with 20 years of experience. Join us and our team of weapon experts as we analyze the demonstrations of the world's most lethal items from El Rey's Man at Arms Art of War, hosted by Danny Trejo. Right here on History's Deadliest Weapons. Which weapon is the deadliest? Let's learn a little history about the Zulfikar. It is said that Archangel Gabriel gave a sword of two edges to Muhammad, and Muhammad passed down that sword to one of his generals. The Persian saber is rigid against motions sideways, allowing for the blade to be extra thin, making it light and an excellent cutter. When you look at the beginning of the split, at the tip of the saber, there's a small hole there. Putting a hole there distributes the forces going sideways more evenly, preserving your weapon, the Zofikar. Would have been used in wide slashing motions where one cut flows naturally into another one. All right, Eric, let's dive right into the next one. The Zulfikar sword from the Middle East, a double-edged sword, double-headed sword. Right. Pretty gnarly. Yeah, it's got that little forked blade. It's sharp on all those edges. What do you think is going to happen? Because of the human anatomy, the ribs, I don't see it going in too far. All right, let's check this out, man. Let's get the slicing and the dicing. Get the sandbags up. Yep. Marco's ready. Okay. Let's yeah. see what happens. Hey, the thing's sharp, Eric. Yeah. Right. Boom. See that Yo. slashing? That was pretty good. He's really mad. A lot of a lot of the blood is coming out. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, nice. The sulfur car is a slashing weapon. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, that's brutal. That was a nice hit. Let's see how it stacks up against this rod. Okay. It's getting caught, and that's fibers. Bone. It's a lot harder than a Persian rug. Right. Okay. Right, so oh. Uh, hey. Uh. What did the rug do to him? What kind of damage are we talking about, brother? Obviously, it can be effective and actually cause fatalities. What if our buddy Marco would have aimed at the heart? The way it's protected in the rib cage, I don't think it would have gone through ribs. Those blades are over an inch in width, and the way that spread. It would have hit ribs. I don't even care if you're Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. Yeah. You might break a rib or something, but you're not going to cut through it like that. Now, if he turned it sideways, yes, it could pierce it. Okay. So if that was an actual limb, what would be happening? It could go through the bone in different parts. Cut your limb off, amputation. Okay. Hit those arteries. Right. But we're thinking combat situation, what it does medically to the human anatomy. Slashing more effective. Stabbing, not so not much. much. Not so much. Stealth killer or shelf filler? I'm gonna have to say shell filler. Shell filler. All right, thanks for joining us, Eric. Uh, pleasure, man. Good time. Hey guys, I'm your host Chewy Martinez, and make sure to check out more videos from Man at Arms, Art of War, and History's Deadliest Weapons on the right, and hit the subscribe button on the left.